people who live on the coast have had to be adaptable. Uh, if you make your living from the sea, um, it's, a, it's an uncertain production environment. And so there's a, a, a certain amount of adaptability built into uh, many coastal and fishing communities. Uh, but what they face in terms of climate change is, is um, unprecedented uh, in, the, in the speed and the extent of change. Um, and it comes on top of a whole series of other threats of which um, over-exploitation, um, poor management um, are, are perhaps uh, the best known and, the, and among the most severe. And fishing communities are going to need support to adapt to the challenges that climate change brings in the context of all these other challenges. And the support may be in terms of helping people to reduce their dependence on fishing. It may be in terms of trying to uh, develop uh, aquaculture fish farming systems that are uh, more resilient to climate change. And um, it may also be in terms of trying to provide better information and better preparedness um, for uh, human safety aspects of, of making a living in, in stormy seas um, and also helping protect fishing related infrastructure, harbours and so on from changes in, in, in sea level and um, storm surges and so on. So there are a whole sort of range of, of different ways that, that um, adaptation investment is, is, is required for fishing communities, both in terms of providing uh, information on changing climate and what, and what this will bring, uh, early warning for storms and, and uh, extreme events, for uh, support for infrastructure and, um, and housing, and also support for changing and adapting the way they make their living.